say I do all, all my shopping virtually, apart from food and clothing, you know, through the shopping channels now, because there's just no reason, really, to go out. The giant of global home shopping is QVC, quality, value and convenience. Broadcasting live 17 hours a day, QVC came here from America in 1993. This is QVC. Welcome to the beginning of a new concept in television. That's me done. <sighs> Not too shabby actually, after all. I was in this morning at six, so up at five. Um, so don't come too close. <laughs> and I've done, what have I done, two hours, three hours? That was my fourth hour. What's the hardest thing for you? For me, it is the software. It's doing anything like, um, anything technical. I'm even, I know it sounds stupid, but when I first started, even something like a radio clock alarm would make me, oh, would make me panic. I'm like, oh my God, buttons. I can talk about anything, but I can't talk and demonstrate sometimes. That, that's the thing. Press that button. Because when you're on air, you press the button and it doesn't work. And this is what happens when it goes at speed. Oh. Is it switched on? No. Oh. Right, let's have, let's have power, that. Power, we need power. QVC UK currently has an annual turnover of £175 million. Pounds. Last time we actually showed something like this, Thomas, on, on one of your shows. It sold so fast. Now they've created a UK market, it was only a matter of time before someone decided to muscle in on the action. Welcome to Ideal World, Europe's digital department store. Ideal is a mail-order catalogue company based in Peterborough. It already has a warehouse full of toilet seat warmers, duvet boots and the like, and a call centre fielding thousands of calls a day. Good evening, Mail Order Hotline. How can I help? OK, that's the pest repeller at 29.95. The entire outfit is owned by Paul Wright and Val Kay, who met as marketing executives in the early 80s. Paul's background has always been in marketing. He's probably most notorious for developing the concept of the Andrex Puppy, now a marketing icon. The Andrex Puppy? was developed by moi, not him, moi, I designed it, I, I designed it, I got it made, I did all the point of sale material, I did all the copy, it was my idea, he didn't even work for Bowwater Scott when the Andrex puppy first came out, cut. Oh, oh, get out of your pram, you. Always searching for a new challenge, Paul has persuaded Val to risk all their assets on a new venture, their very own shopping channel. There are already two shopping channels in Britain, QVC and Shop, based in Liverpool. But Paul's sure there is room for another, and he's very clear about his opposition. QVC is a brilliant business. They've done a fantastic job. I have nothing but admiration and respect. In fact, I'm so jealous of their success and what they've achieved. That's precisely why I want to do it myself. It's early March 2000, and the launch date for Ideal World Television is set for the 17th of April. It's a mammoth task to get it ready. <laughs> I'm sitting here, and I'm, I'm obviously I'm being very enthusiastic, and I'm thinking into my head, my God, how the hell are we ever going to manage this? I mean, I've got computer systems to get right in six weeks. I've got a warehouse to fill. I've got products to source. I've got program strand ideas. I mean, all this is great. But all it is at the moment is chit-chat. I would imagine QVC would be laughing there in their socks if they really knew that actually we haven't got a clue what we're doing right now. We know what we want to do, <laughs> but, but in fair reality, we haven't got one solid plan on paper. Well, computer systems, which should have been sorted out in October last year, are kind of just about being sorted out. We've got six weeks till we go to air. Um, apart from that, it's wonderful. No, it's okay. We're cool. We're cool. Okay. We're cool. In a short space of time, the team at Ideal have got to perform a technical miracle, building a complete television studio from scratch. It's a real worry, really. Still, they're professionals. They'll have to do it. I'll have to worry about other things. Like hiring all the staff and finding the presenters. 
as QVC well know, to be a successful TV home shopping presenter takes a very special talent. More, more, more moisture into your hair. You've really got to be a bit of a compulsive shopper yourself. You've got to enjoy product because otherwise you can't transmit that enjoyment to the viewer at home. You've got a little parting and often your hair growth goes up that way and then from the middle it goes down and sometimes you have a little swirly bit. We are very, very close to the viewer because literally when they phone in sometimes and I'm looking through the camera to Jane or to Andrew or whoever's phoned, I can actually picture what they're wearing, I can see what wallpaper they've got, I can really picture their character and the type of person that they are. It's very good. We'd never go back now, would we, no. to ordinary shopping? Not, not on its own, you know. That's right. I mean, it, you, don't, you don't want to go into the hustle and the bustle of everything. No, no. And it's, it's, it's nice, relaxing yes. uh, way of shopping, isn't it? Really? Yes. It's like Father Christmas every day, isn't yeah. it? We get sack loads of mail, which is fantastic, and emails. You know, I get about 150 emails a week. Every month, avid fans of QVC request hundreds of signed photographs. Oh, we just put the American guests together, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If Ideal are going to succeed, they need to make sure their presenters are as popular. So who have they got lined up? Paul Lavers, runner-up in last year's Cable Personality of the Year competition. Debbie Flint, former presenter of British Forces Television. And Steve Watley, gadget man on ITV's This Morning. But what makes the team at Ideal so confident that these three are going to succeed? They were all top sellers at QVC. We've got a really good atmosphere here. You know, and if we can just hold on to that, I think we're going yeah. through thick and thin, we're going to do really well. <laughs> yeah, not too many. He's only had a broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Ideal are going to need more than just the three main presenters. So Paul Lavers, who doubles as a producer, has gone to Croydon to audition Young Hopefuls. You don't have to be the best presenter in inverted commas in the world. You've just got to be good at being yourself so that people are happy at home to just sit back and relax and think that person isn't putting anything on. They're talking to me as they talk to me if I was with them. And I trust them. And if we can get that, then we've got the perfect presenter. Thanks for a great show, Nikki. Hi, my name's Amanda Featherstone, and today I'm going to introduce you into the world of calendars. Stay tuned, because after the break, we're coming back with some information on diaries. Until next time, catch you then. Seven. Also, you have to be able to talk without a script for four hours. Hi, um, the project I have today to show you is a uh, water filter. Now, um, tap water in Britain is like 30 years. Um, so, I, um, I find this completely indispensable in my kitchen. Welcome to Ideal World. My name's Sean Ryan, and this in front of me is, of course, the Gemini Soda Stream. So here we go. One, two, three, and then I'll open the door again. You can actually hear all that fizzing, lovely carbonated water there. We've got almost everybody now, but we've got still a couple of trainees. The thing I wonder about Sean is, would he, how much would he need, do you think, to come to us? Depends how desperate it is to be a presenter with you, doesn't it? Really? We know you could do it. You're not going to dry up on air. It just means I've got to dig deep in my pockets and see how much I can pull out. Okay. What's more, there are other things you can do with this. Are you trying to give up smoking? Are you struggling? <laughs> this will help you out. Mm. I'll smoke the rest later. <laughs> but there's one other thing you can do with this, and this comes absolutely free at the combined price of just nine ninety nine. <laughs> there's this button here. A little rod comes through, and you can write with it. This is the stylo. Bonigrafo <laughs> stylo. Just nine pounds ninety nine. Phone in and order it now. Thank you very much. <laughs> QVC are also on the lookout for new presenters, okay, but of a different calibre. Yeah. 
wash his head. Hi. How are you? It's to lovely you. to put a face to the voice. I should say, <laughs> welcome to QVC. Thank you. Yes, come, up and, uh, okay. come up to the office. Stephanie Paz is the latest celebrity to give a certain pizzazz to QVC, joining Joan Collins, Joan Rivers, and lately Britt Eklund. Jewelry has always been one of my great passions. Join me for Britt Eklund's personal collection. My fabulous new fashion jewelry. Exclusive to QVC. QVC understand the marketing value of glamour. The Ideal Home Exhibition is the perfect opportunity for fans to meet their favourite home shopping presenters in the flesh. I've come specially to see Tova, Tova Borgnine. She's married to Ellis Borgnine and she does makeup and perfumes, which I absolutely love. Truly, Tova on location. I want to go out there and hug all of you. Thank you for your tip. It's been a tough year. It's just lovely just to meet the lady herself. Um, I, follow, I, just, I think she's wonderful. She's, she's the personification of elegance and everything you would want to be if you could. What's your name? Oh, Bella's Two, jewelry too. Three. <laughs> Are you Dominique fan? Right, Schmidt. No. No? Nope. We've even taped it for going eight. There's something yeah. we want to watch. <laughs> So we really are fanatics. Yeah, fanatics, definitely. But QVC don't have the show all to themselves. Lurking nearby are Paul and Debbie from Ideal with their team of trainee presenters. <laughs> Why we're here today is to actually get all the presenters out so that they can see what it's like to pull a crowd to actually demonstrate a product and actually what you've seen already is the excitement about finding a product that actually works like with this cream which has made me 10 years younger we've got to have it so we've got to have it on air oh, right. okay all smiles there we go we went to the QVC stand just to say hi to our friends. And there's all these people started deluging us, saying, where have you been? When are you coming back? We didn't want to say there and then because it wasn't very nice, but we said, we'll catch us elsewhere in the show and we'll tell you about Channel 642 on the April 17th. That's where I used to work. It's my home. And to not be part of it anymore is just a bit sort of weird because I'd be there. I'd be the, I'd be part of it. While they're down in London, Debbie and Paul meet up with Val and Paul to consult PR guru Max Clifford. They need some clever publicity for the channel. No viewers means no sales. I, I guess, Max, I've got a bit of a problem, only because your style is so different to anything I've ever come across before. So I'm really not quite sure how, how we go about really what we're trying to achieve. The reason I get results is because I know my business and I deliver. There's things that we can be working on. Um, in terms of the fact that you know you've gone from one to the other, you defected, if you like. But most important, immediately, okay, would be for you and Peter Ridsdale mm. to be available for interviews because he is a very hot man right now. Peter Ridsdale is chairman of Leeds United Football Club. He's also agreed to be non-executive chairman of Ideal World's television. He can be a bloody big asset if he's prepared to go for it. And right now, in a month, he will help you, us, achieve a lot. That's it. Cheesy smiles looking at me. Marvellous. But if publicity is what you're after, then there's one phone call that you have to make. Spice World's PR. If we know someone who can get her to answer the phone and talk to her about this is Victoria Beckham right because she's a well-known TV shopping fan is she always known as oh. QVC she loved QVC um, I'm just kicking off a brand new channel called Ideal World and we're looking for various you know very very strong lines to do and because she said her mum's very much into it we thought it might be a lovely idea if um, we approach Victoria and see if she wants to do her own range so she'll have like her own hour what do you think thanks for your help bye she doubts it, because she's really busy. She's got a really busy schedule. I'll oh, calm down now. <laughs> it wasn't even bloody Victoria. I'd be no good, would I? I bet she hates being called posh. All right, then. Bex. Bit of Tory. Tory, isn't she called Tory? Isn't that her name? They killed her Tory, I think. 
Is it to know Tori? It is. I bet you when we get together with her, she says, call me Tori. Honestly. Mrs. Bex. Oh, I bet she'll love that. How about... Brooklyn's oh, mum? This Brooklyn's was quicker, was it? Dot one. You know him. This was the quick way. You said she didn't like being called posh. With two weeks to go, all 160 staff arrive on the same day. Everyone from producers and directors to the technical team. Some are ex-QVC. Some have never seen the inside of a TV studio. It said that it takes 40 hours of viewing of television home shopping before people pick up the phone and make their first order. Now, if you had to wait until our new audience waited 40 hours before they made their first order, We'll not be fucked. <laughs> because we haven't got that time. Because we want to make money straight away. It's going to be chaotic, but April the 17th marks a, a bit of a, a, a special day for me. It's the fulfilment of a dream I've had for some years. And quite frankly, I just want to knock the shit out of QVC. <laughs> yeah, I've got everything else. It was a nightmare, 160 people. Mm. <laughs> I don't know any of them. I'm Andy. Oh, hi, Andy. Hi, this is floor manager. If there's ever going to be a floor to manage. Mark Thatcher is head of broadcasting and was formerly a producer at QVC. He's explaining his vision of how the channel should look to a couple of prospective graphic designers. Driving through craft, painting, needlework and stitching. Mm, I had a different thought, but I mean, hey... Work, work on it. I, I don't know. I'm not the expert. You're, you're the expert. Bear in mind, home shopping audiences don't watch it like we watch Coronation Street or EastEnders. They come and they go. We have them for maybe six minutes. You know, that's what we're doing. We're demystifying it. We're making it easy for them to understand, and we're helping them make a purchasing decision. Rule number one is we go on air on the 17th of April, come hell or high water. Rule number two is there are no other rules. <laughs> the new recruits are practicing the skills they're going to need. John is learning how to count in Chloe, the presenter. Unfortunately, he's no Ted Rogers. Five, four, right. three, two, one. Envision on one. Hi there. I hope you enjoy that. The distance that you take your arm along here determines the size of the There are miles of cable in a TV studio, and the trainee studio crew are learning how to work with it. Get it wrong, and you've got no pictures. Two weeks to go before the launch of Ideal's home shopping channel, and the studio is still under construction. So why has Paul taken on such a massive challenge? What is making this whole venture worthwhile and attractive to me is that there's 20 million households in this country. That's something like 50 million people have never seen a live home shopping channel. What's also making the venture appealing to Paul is QVC's £175 million turnover in the UK alone last year. At the core of QVC's success is the relationship between producer and presenter during live broadcasts. The producer's job is to monitor sales and keep the presenter informed of how well the product is selling. It should be a really busy show. Um, they're expecting £100,000 from it, so it should be really good. 23, 22, 21, 20 seconds, 30, 32, 2, 1, 0. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to a fantastic two-hour show. Now, Thursday afternoons at 4 o'clock are always really busy. So that's coming up okay, here in the let's see what's coming up in this hour. Well. A magazine. Alison can hear Mark through her earpiece. He reacts to the sales figures so and gives her information to pass on to the audience. Well. Now, I have to say, well and done. And it sold out on the first day of Beauty Month. Because Wellness. this sold out on the first day of our Beauty Month launch show. Over 200 okay, people ordering that at the moment. Summer, which is fantastic. Um, exactly. I mean, that's absolutely fine. Which is Fantastic. All right, then can you turn the sound on your TV off for me, please? Okay. So we're going to the phones next. Every one of my nails was split, and I was so desperate, Caroline, that I stuck them with the super glue. What do they look like now, Jane? They are wonderful. And, and I, you know, I, I will, I, I'm going to send for one with my daughter in law. I'm well, Jane, there. thank Here you very is. much. Bye bye. Yeah, it's nice to hear. There All must right. have been a lot of. A lot of 
Uh, work done into this product. As soon as you said bye, Ali, she's gone. The rose colours are Well, we're going to give you the details of that, so stay tuned. The girls she's gone. She's gone, Ali. Bye then, Jane. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with... The team are always well, keen to know how much money they've the made from the show. 9 o'clock, see you then. 90,000, I know. But that's it. But that'll go up. All of the figures haven't clicked in yet, and so often that can actually double over about the next hour as everything's actually processed. Because when the phones get so busy like that, it, it uh, takes a little while for the computers literally to catch up the figures. It's just gone up another thousand in the last ten seconds, so... That's good. That's good result. In Peterborough, spending rather than making money is the issue. The ideal venture is costing £6 million. Money is like pouring out my ears at the moment. I just want to just feel that we've got a prospect of moving ahead. You know we've got a prospect of moving ahead. We wouldn't all be here if we didn't have a prospect of moving ahead. I know, I just want to feel it. I just want to see it, feel it, touch you, it. You, it's there, I know it's there. If it wasn't there, I wouldn't be here. One of the reasons for QVC's runaway financial success is its variety of products. From big boys toys to painting kits, there's something for everyone. And the quest for new products is never ending. QVC has over 50 buyers sourcing a thousand new products a month to feed the constant demand. But the backbone of QVC is one of their most successful products ever, Diamondique. Simulated diamonds and gold which has become the emblem of QVC's TV home shopping domination the world over. Oh, I've got visions now of Anne in Switzerland with this round her neck and her... Oh, just sparkling away. It's lovely. Well, since I, I discovered Diamondique, I'm afraid I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> I mean, you see them on screen, but then you suddenly see them in daylight and you think, goodness, they're even better than I thought, you know, and like... And that was it. I'm afraid I was hooked. Sometimes I just like to look at them. I enjoy just sitting and cleaning them and, and looking at them. It just gives me pleasure. During his time at QVC, Steve Watley was Mr. Diamondique, and the responsibility for finding Ideal's answer to it has fallen on his shoulders. For two and a half years, I've been scouring the world, really, to find something which is going to be bigger and better than the QVC company that I was known for before. So what will Ideal's answer to Diamondique be? Ah! You got it on! Oh, yes, 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 yeah. This Meet Genesis. That is stunning. Do you like it? You're happy? Do you like it? Look it's at that beautiful. Shop. It is just so beautiful. Genesis is a cultured diamond available in every conceivable color, shape, and size. It's one of the 250 products Ideal will need to go to launch. Oh, I'm very nervous about the product. So I'm waiting for Debbie to come and see me because she got my list of products from her catalogues and I just want to know if there are any products there that aren't suitable. <laughs> the presenters are less than impressed with some of the catalogue items. Oh, wow. Well, I've done my work without... It's been fantastic. Now do you zip. Now do you zip. Now do you zip. Yeah, and now get it off. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that we've got product to fill the first two weeks programmes. Um, it works when you do this. I use it with Paul Price. You Super really first, you've got Dominion Miracle back. car cleaner. Okay, we're starting to realise there's a big difference between what sells on print and what sells on the telly. I mean, I say we're starting to realise, we always knew that. Some people here are going to have to start to realise. Because there's no way we can go to where selling stuff that doesn't work. There's loads of things that aren't on this list that I would have liked to have done, so I assume that because they're not on the list, we can't do them. That's why when I said to you, what are the products in the catalogue that we can go to air with, I thought that was what you were doing. But I assume that you would come up with a comprehensive list. Leave it to us. Give us that list, you've got that one. What's this list you've got, Paul? I've got a fuck no, it's actually basically. You don't know <laughs> If Paul and I hadn't done anything to get products, we would have been, would have been going to air with about 20. That's not hours, that's items. Shush, Valerie. I'm sorry, Paul. Look, look Paul no, I don't said, want personality Paul, clashes Paul, now, for Paul, Christ's well, sake. Well, I kept my mouth shut. Yeah, I know Paul Vegas said he wanted a specific thing yesterday. I did. I know. You know. But, but what has she, happened? She, no, what has happened is that she fucking refused to use my list. That's what, what happened. I know. She had to make yeah, her yeah. own list. I don't want to hear you. You're right, but now I'm going to have to create a new list. 
have everything that we've got, such that, it, in other words, we start fresh. Yes. So we now have 96 lights down here. And they need to go up there. And that's what all these guys are doing. And they're going to be working through the night if they have to. We've got plenty of sparks to do the job so they can actually drop them into place. What they can't do is they can't set them exactly. And guess what? We haven't got any sets for them to point at anyway. To finish the studio, they need to install a set with two living rooms, a working kitchen, bring in some cameras, build a sound studio, a feed from the gallery to the floor, make it go to a satellite in the sky and back down again. To do it all properly is a three-month job. We're uh, five days away. And if it takes for me to unpack lights, I'll unpack lights. If I have to paint the floor, I'll have to paint the floor. Whatever it takes to get us on air. But if they do finish the studio, will anyone know they are there? <laughs> the media have shown no interest or appetite for our story whatsoever. I'm not bothered about that at one level, other than to say that the benefit of publicity to us, of course, is making sure the general public out there know we exist and get ready to, to come to our channel. Yeah. But the pre-publicity really is a little bit worrying. Um, I think we're all worried about it. Everyone's putting on a brave face and no one is telling anyone else what they're really thinking, I, I suspect. I've been scribbling out letters to viewers that over the years have been incredibly loyal, kind of like your family of viewers that you know that like this, this and this. So I've scribbled to them so saying, hey, listen, this is what I'm doing with Devs and Paul and, and all that sort of stuff. Paul and Val are paying Max Clifford a £10,000 a month retainer to publicise the channel. For Paul, can you phone Max, phone the office, yep. find out if Max is... Why do I want to talk to Max? Because it's coming from you. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, get Max on the phone. So if I'll he's not in the office, can we phone him on his mobile? Can yeah. we have his mobile number, please? Yeah, yeah. We'll put him through. Oh. Paul needs to speak to Max urgently. Yeah. Max. Hi, Paul. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, are you? Excellent. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Good. Max, sorry to bother you. It's just something that I'd really like to share with you. And that is, do you think yeah. you can lean on any of the press to see if they can come and give us a little bit of coverage? Uh, yes. Well, it would be wonderful if we could get it, especially if we can get the channel number on. I mean, that's all we really need. And as you say, if we can get... <laughs> I quite understand, Max. It, yeah, I know it's... channel number? 642. Channel number is 642. Absolutely. That's kind of... That, that, if there was anything to get across, that's the bit. So with four days to go, Ideal are short on publicity, short on products, and Posh has said no to presenting. But they do have one ace up their sleeve. Uh, tell me about I've got a policy Paul Lakes. Would you like to sign it? I'd love to sign it. He's another defector from QVC. But he'd like to be known for more than his music. Well, I quite like. When I went, when I went to, well, what I would like to do is actually the stuff, um, the, you know, the innovation and stuff. You know, the yeah. the weird things that you don't actually see in the shops. So much. I mean, a lot of the things. That, I mean, I can't keep going back to it, but the catalogue stuff. Really, yeah. I didn't realise you had a, uh, an interest in sort of widgets and gadgets. I have oh, absolutely <coughs> no objection. Mm. You know, to to you having a go with those. Yeah. That's the thing. That's what I always wanted to do at. Um, QVC, do the, you know, the, the slightly weird and sort of wacky things. Yeah. Some of it, I mean, like, you, know, you keep mentioning the nose clippers, those sort of things. Sure. Actually, yeah. you know, those sort of things would sell. Great. Well, thanks well, everyone. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. Very excited to be here. Yeah, what about you? In a last-ditch attempt to drum up publicity, Val calls Leeds chairman Peter Ridsdale with a drastic idea. Yeah? Fabulous. This one you might not be so happy about. If you've got any bit of gossip, anything, about the team, you know, a little bit of a secret or anything like that, that you could let slip, that we could legally let slip to the press, then we could get a quid pro quo from the press to get coverage on, up here on Monday. Death threat. You know, in other words, let's say for instance some of your play one of your players might have had a stalker or a death threat or something like that. On oh, oh, my mobile, absolutely. It doesn't leave me. Thanks, but the ball and the T-shirts, they're on, yeah? With only two days to go before the launch of a whole new TV station, the enormity of the situation finally hits home. Just seeing if there was a bit of paper or something stuck in it. OK. Huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> what do you think? It's a nightmare, isn't it? It's never going to be ready, is it? All around the building, people are starting to panic.
I am calm most of the time. We're getting to the stage where we're going to be on air. Hang on, you missed the point. I tell you now, there's no way we're going to record ten hours between Sunday morning and going on air. No, no, Monday night. no, we know that. The necklace is here, the dream wizard is here, right. <coughs> everything else is not here. I was actually physically sick for the first time two nights ago. We're even now contemplating only running three hours a night because we haven't got any product. My remit to you is whatever it takes yeah. to get those things from down there up there. Paul's not going to like it, but the choices are that yeah. we pay over time when he and I hang the lights. You bitch at me, and you say, well, that's your business, because you're head of, head of uh, presentation, so you look after them. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't. No, well, you wouldn't. Okay. When are we going to have a meeting that's nuts and bolts with directors and people to say who's directing, what, what the sets are, what... I mean, when we have a studio that's up and running, when we have lights and when we have sets. Yeah. It's not a conspiracy no, no, against no. Steve Watley. Well, no, I'm just asking. It's just... No, like, but, well, yeah, but just try and keep up. A bit yourself. Oh, I was keeping up. I was ahead of the ball in, in a yeah, lot of areas. It's not a conspiracy then, Steve. You are being told an awful lot, and an awful lot is in chaos, so we're all in the chaos theory. You're absolutely So right. let's yeah. all well, support okay. each other. Bear in mind, listening to what you say and my paranoia, I'm the one that's picking up the feeling of I'm third in the fucking pecking order, and I don't like it. Let's not bitch among ourselves at the moment. I don't think that is the case. It's certainly not meant to be. What else? What, what more can we do to make this thing happen? What more can we do? Oh, my God, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But maybe this. I suppose this is what I really meant. Welcome to TV. Welcome to TV. Today's the big day. It's April 17th, 2000. An Ideal World TV hits channel 642 live at 9 o'clock this evening, if the studio's ready. The minute you smell that studio smell and of brand new gels that are sort of burning and you think, oh God, it's for real now. Well, here it is, Dom. The start of a new era. Food's arriving for the grand launch party for investors and family. Champagne will be flowing throughout the day to help everyone with their opening night nerves. Action! It's fun to stay at the... Not all the programmes going out on Ideal World will be live. The male presenters have been whisked away to a park-built house to film a promotion for a karaoke machine. And they've picked a karaoke classic. Young man! <laughs> Young man! Look at this... Image of Matt. Hey, this is you, you. You have got a belly these days. No, I haven't. Have you ever had a belly? No. Take right, take. Nice yeah. tits and teeth. <laughs> what? This is great, but um, we're launching nine o'clock tonight. And if these guys aren't, oh, why don't you slip? Botley, no. Oh, you, you have to worry that it's so ingrained in us that we'll do as long as there's a camera on. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll Climb do it. the roof. How high is that? Back at the studio, Paul is seeing the set for the first time. Oh, I see. So they've got that far. Oh, that's quite, that's quite nice. Ideal world colours. Yeah. Yeah. Ba ba ba. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't. I, hadn't, I missed that subtlety. I must admit. Let's hope the audience doesn't. <laughs> Things seem to be going smoothly at last, and Max Clifford's come up the A1 for the occasion. <laughs> Is it really essential to have them out there now, in the middle of the world, oh, to get it moved? For the amount of people what are here just now, and get out of the way for them. So it's, uh, 
Everybody can go to the toilet in peace. Upstairs, Debbie's trying to calm the nerves of the female presenters. Because psychologically, the more you worry about it, the worse it will be. I would love to have been able to have the luxury of at least doing it once in front of cameras, watching the monitors, knowing when the L's coming up. So, I mean, you know how that works. I didn't even know there were two monitors. So that's where my nerves that's are coming from. Not because I don't think I can do it or right. any of that. Oh, absolutely. My first night, and we haven't had a producer come near us with a, right. a break. And I don't know what my item numbers are, I don't know what my prices are. Like mm. you, I would be exactly the same. I am exactly the same when I'm doing something I've never done. Mm. So all I'm saying is the nerves are par for the course. Yes. I visualise energy and just calm down and get energy and everybody always says what you want well you it's just inner energy my dear <laughs> but then that will help me be calm for the rest of the night when all around me are losing theirs <laughs> oh dear such a laugh and everybody outside is just thinking that we've got it all under control <laughs> that's the biggest laugh <laughs> Everybody in the kitchen happy? We're on schedule for rehearsals at six. Because if you want those three hours, guess what? We haven't got them. Give me the this is my mum. <laughs> Ideal have high hopes for their big night to sell a car live on air for the very first time. How about that? Bang! There it is. Yeah. The crucial first five minutes of the launch programme haven't been recorded yet. We're an hour and a half to air. And um, we still haven't got the opening VT made. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Steve, Debbie and Paul will pull up, spring out and rush into the studio. Well, that's the plan. Rolling. All right, Pete. There's no time to wait for a replacement, so they'll just have to make do with a stationary limousine. Let's really ramp it up now, because I want to be rehearsing. Five minutes. Five, three minutes. We want this thing stuck over here, where these guys are standing. Put this out there, put that on there, get the opening rehearsed, and then get back, and in. Then get back in. Let's yeah, do that. Yeah. Right, we'll do that. should have come back on. With an hour to go, none of the presenters have had any rehearsal time and the crew are struggling to light the still unfinished set. This was all right until somebody moved it on. You know what I mean? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'll download it. Get downloaded. Yeah, okay. Come in, Dave. Am I going to get my details or not? Will I get my details, please? They're not there. Uh, well, uh, can we do it sensibly? Can we stop? Can we stop now? There seems to be a serious communication problem between the gallery and the studio floor. No, we have no talk back, Philip. Right. Hello. Now, can you hear my microphone? Now, can we take this sensibly? We've got presenters here who need talk back. Let's concentrate on this. They haven't had talk back all week. Let's do it properly, sensibly. Old hands like Steve Watley settle into the studio routine with ease. It's all very well having fabulous products, but how do you order them? Well, it's simple. While the less experienced presenters need a little bit of support from Paul. Group hug. I think we should go. I think we should. Karaoke set. That's good. Aquarium's being set. That's good. All right. Yeah. We got ourselves a show. <laughs> the assembled guests are going to watch the launch in reception, but the time has come for Paul to make his way to the studio floor. My friends need to lock yourself. What's going on here? Oh Christ! All right. Break a leg, you. Take a nap. Enjoy. 
It's Paul's big moment, the culmination of 10 years of dreaming and a lot of financial investment. It's now that the power of speech deserts him. Yeah, I'll play God, it bangs, it's going to go all right. Two and a half minutes. Countdown. It's countdown. Count D60, I'm not standing by. Thank you. Is that on a one minute, one second pre roll? Yes, it is. Paul oh, goes up is four. You're both, you'll be striking your pose on two. Paul talks to four. Then he'll come down on two and uh, four will close up. Then your cameras will be three for the wide shot on Debbie and Steve. Now quiet on the floor, please! OK, this is what we're waiting for for 18 months, guys and girls. Let's just make it right. Here we go, then, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, roll VT6. Seriously, you. This is going to be fun. That's what ideal world is going to be about. You're going to be seeing things that you want to buy, and you're going to have fun whilst you're buying. But I am joined by the lovely, the delectable, the <laughs> divine, adorable <laughs> Debbie Flynn. Thank you, anybody who's sitting watching tonight, hoping and praying that there'll be something you want to buy. We think there will be. Cheers. Cheers. One of the best models that you've ever seen. Wouldn't it be lovely like this? But wouldn't it be and even so better like this? Yes! Yeah! 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 So we've got a few sound problems. You can't hear me, which uh, yeah, you thought was good. Oh, no, we don't, oh. we don't want you lot in. <laughs> no. in we said we'd look after you. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think the sound is a bit funny at the moment. Yeah, we've got a bit of a problem with that. But I mean, with the trouble is, as you know, we were still being on the set like 10 minutes ago. So yeah. it's yeah. all come a bit. Um, yeah. a bit I, I thought they would have arranged that more before. No, they're, 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 they're working on it now. Yeah. There's the little pig kissing the little dog. There's the koala bear with the phone inside. I'll show you in a minute. And there's the panda. Aren't they fabulous? Absolutely superb. Val's gone to the call centre to check early sales. What is? Yeah, they're going like it. They're going like hotcakes. Right. I'm loving every second of it. This is something that is my dream come true. With the dream is a pillow. <laughs> I'm off. Bye. <laughs> This is my most favourite pillow. And why do I love this pillow? Because it makes dreams come true, that's why. It's, I've got my friend Brinsley Schwartz. Brinsley. <laughs> Brinsley Schwartz, thank you, I've got a new Brins name. Brinsley Ford, from formerly of Aswad, with me. Guys, everyone listen, this is what's happening. Tony Blackburn is going to introduce this hour as if he's a sad git on his own having a party. Well, I am. <laughs> with the shagadelic 60s. He's going to say, in an ideal world, we'd have a proper party. As this is an ideal world, I just think we should have a party. Come on, let's have a party, everybody. We've got the music, we've got everything here. Let's have a party. Whoa, let's have a party. A surprise fax has arrived in the gallery from some old friends at QVC. These are our old mates. These are our old mates, and it's wonderful. In the spirit of friendly competition, the team read it out on air. Hi, everybody. We've got lots of friends at QVC. We're not going to be frightened of saying QVC. Yeah. Let's get Ellison in place. About 150 quid so far. That's sold six. Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> I think we're 
go to the telephone line. Today. Hello, Janet. There we Hi, Janet. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You've gone for the phone buddies, have you? I have, yes. Which, which one did you get? I'm just going to put Billy Bass to the side a second. I've ordered the um, panda Hang and on. the koala bear. Can you put that fish in the aquarium, please? <laughs> And when the fat fish sings, it's all over. Oh, 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 Live at nine tomorrow. Six. On. I do. I'll just come for a bottle I of champagne. I will do just that, mate. Well, how do you think, mate? <laughs> now, tomorrow we know there's loads of things to be done. We know there's tweaking, nipping and tucking. We'll examine that tomorrow. But tonight's not for that. Tonight's to say congratulations, well done, because we actually gave QVC something to stick up their bums. Because you know what? <laughs> when we were out there having shitloads of fun, what were they selling? <laughs> Cuckoo clocks! <laughs> right, from the figures I received um, for, for midnight and before, we took £7,314, which equates to about two and a half grand an hour. We took 209 orders, which equates to £70 an hour, making the average order value about 35 quid, which is well above that of our rivals. And what it also means, Brian tells me, there was at least 20,000 people watching us, at least. What a wow. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show. Ten past eight, I can now reveal to the world the greatest TV channel ever to hit the TV screens of any country on planet Earth. <laughs> it's channel 642 and it's called Ideal World. Over the weekend, <laughs> right, they had so little to sell that they resorted to selling photographs of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're genius. Paul, Paul, that is Paul Abel. Brilliant. That's it. <laughs> That's the greatest Bromley. idea ever. <laughs> TV, can I help you? But after a shaky start, Ideal have made it to their three month anniversary. Making it the success it is, the success that we really didn't believe was possible. That's why we're celebrating. I just think that what we have to offer here is the renaissance of the professional salesperson. The informed, interesting, entertaining, enthusiastic, you know, person back into people's living rooms. Their estimated turnover to date is four million pounds and growing. Only another 170 to go to catch up with the opposition. <laughs>